Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be replacing a gas valve on a gas furnace. Our gas valve is located here. Normally, the incoming gas line is connected right here. Um, this one had flexible, a gas flex connected to it. It's important to remember if we are using a gas flex, we cannot uh, penetrate the sidewall of the furnace with a flex, gas flex. This must be a hard pipe coming through the side. Uh, it's okay to use flexible all inside or all outside. To replace the gas valve, we first disconnect the two wires, which I've already taken the liberty of doing. These are 24 volts. Make sure your furnace is unplugged, of course. Um, this should only be performed by certified personnel, properly trained personnel. Um, so with your low voltage disconnected, the next thing we do is we remove the screws here, 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 and here. Once we have done that, the entire gas assembly pulls straight out. Um, with the gas assembly pulled straight out, we simply unscrew the gas valve. Um, to replace the gas valve, we notice this one says propane gas. We make sure that we have one that is rated for propane or that has the propane kit so that we can switch it out if we need to. We simply unscrew the gas valve, use Teflon tape um, or any type of rector seal, any type of uh, thread sealant. Screw the gas valve back on. Uh, put your screws back in place where they go um, and you are done. And not, don't, do not forget the gas valves come in a couple of different um, voltages. Uh, they do come in 230 volt, um, 110, 120 volt, and of course uh, 24 volt. This one is 24 volt. Make sure that you do get the correct one there. The other consideration is to make sure if what type of uh, pilot system it has. That you have a standing pilot, intermittent pilot. This one here is actually a hot service ignition model. Um, so make sure you do get the, uh, the correct gas valve for the application where you're installing it. This concludes our tutorial. Uh, please stay tuned while I introduce the super cool slide rule. It is the coolest tool in air conditioning. It's going to save you a lot of money by saving you a lot of time. Thanks for watching. I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully, those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheat or subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors, rules, and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.